After a chaotic and competitive week one all around the SFL, league expansion takes center stage as two of the newest teams in the SFL do battle to make history against the other. James Richards and his Indianapolis Red Devils take on Ryan Motes and his San Francisco Sharks at the Shark Tank in San Francisco. One of these teams is going to get their first franchise win. Who's it going to be? It's either going to be Indianapolis or it's San Francisco. And it starts now live on Twitch presented by APM Music. Let's go. Welcome in to San Francisco, California, the site of this week one finale between the Indianapolis Red Devils and the San Francisco Sharks. Into the broadcast booth you go with Chris Curtis and Jimmy Stevens. And Jimmy, we are set up for a matchup between two teams with all rookies. So everyone getting their first taste of FS as SFL experience. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, game tonight. You get two different outlooks by uh, the two teams. You get a very interesting defensive front or set up by the the Red Devils and the Sharks are running a very interesting, I would say at the least, offensive front. <laughs> you say that because they are running a generic halfback and going with a star fullback instead as Ryan Mote suits up in the fullback position, player and coach. So it should be interesting to see how that plays into their offensive strategy this evening. Yeah, and the uh, the Red Devils are running a three safety backfield with no defensive linemen. So it should be uh, interesting to see how they approach the game themselves. Red Devils will start with the football as we play a little bit in the rain as we are mid-60s in the Bay Area. Winds at 15 miles an hour out of the southeast, and we are ready for football. Game on your screen. Ball lined up at the 30. Sharks in the all black will kick to the Red Devils, and we are underway in San Francisco. Ball returned to the ball. It's a fumble immediately, and I do believe it is picked up by Indy, but that is a mistake they got away with as it's first and 10 at the 23. Yeah, the Red Devils decided to go with a generic kick returner this week and uh, may have almost bit them in the rear end. Yeah, just about. It was a uh, very, very generic play, and it was grabbed by, you know what? Actually, the Sharks do have that football. That's my mistake. I thought Indy grabbed it the way he was running upfield, but the Sharks start their first possession deep into Indy territory, and that's a huge mistake. Uh, we'll get to take the first look at this uh, unique offense. Yeah, no kidding. Jacques Luyendula. Behind the center, taking the ball, and he's actually going to hand it off to the halfback, or to the full, I think it's the halfback. And that is to the line of scrimmage and actually lost a yard or two. Yeah, by SFL rules, you uh, you can't swap out your halfback and fullback and single back set, so we'll be seeing a generic when they're running a single back set. Fair enough. Jockey uh, Louie Dula going to be handing it off to the generic, but also to Ryan Motes in the fullback position. His main wide receiver target, Gabriel Manning. And also the tight end, George Calderon. They're under center now, two in the backfield. Luyendula is going to get taken down immediately in the defensive line for the Indy Red Devils. Gets to make their presence felt early. Uh, here I am questioning the uh, the use of generic defensive linemen and second play of the game, they come in and make a sack. Yep, generic linemen able to get to him. So good stuff by Indy. They have a chance to possibly force them into a fourth down situation. Under center, looking to throw. Long drop for Louis Dula as all day. He's going to throw, looking end zone, and it's tipped. And it dropped just in front of the pay dirt. And that's a mistake as they are going to pay for that dearly. They have to go for a field goal here. Yeah, the uh, disadvantage is they're running three, uh, three wide receivers only having one star player thrown to the generic, and there's a drop seed, much like the primetime game from actually, last night. actually, if I'm right, that was actually Gabriel Manning was the intended receiver on that. So that was their star wide receiver who just straight dropped the ball. Fourth and 15, they will try to kick a field goal here. Going to be a 45-yard attempt right out of the gate. Rain going to probably knock this down a bit. Kick is on the way, and it is through. So they take advantage of the first possession by knocking in three points, and that is a major, major victory defensively for Indy as they stopped it from getting in the end zone. And after a fumble like that, hard to do. Yeah, that's definitely a victory for the 